Hi, uh, Daryl from Eric and Daryl. Hi. I don't know about you guys, but during this whole quarantine thing, it's allowed me some time to do a little reorganization. Um, we've been doing a lot of that around the Hazelrig Manor, as we like to call it here. Yeah, that includes my, my record collection, and I uh, thought I'd go through a couple of records that I managed to hold on to from back when I was a kid in a lot of those older videos. So let's check them out. Strangely enough, a lot of them turned out to be KISS records. Um, so, uh, KISS Alive. Back in the day, I remember we used to play this a lot. Um, before we started videoing things, we would just put this album on, listen to the whole thing and rock out to it. Um, at some point, I managed to cut out a picture of Kiss from the Huntsville newspaper. I'm not sure what year this is, but um, okay. <laughs> Don't remember doing that. Double platinum. They, uh, they seemed like Kiss did a lot of that, releasing and re-releasing and re-releasing. Um, and you had to have each one because, oh no, this has a new recording of Strutter from 1978 as opposed to the original one. Ace Frehley's solo album from 1978. Um, this one had actually a couple of good tracks. Rip It Out. Rip it out. Take my heart. She wanted it. From the start. She got it now. So goodbye. So rip it out. Watch me cry. Um, I liked Speeding Back to My Baby and also so, uh, New York Groove. I couldn't tell you what the rest of them sound like. Gene Simmons. Obviously the coolest looking dude in the band, right? Musically, I don't remember any of these songs. Probably my favorite Kiss album, Dynasty, 1979. Uh, kind of the album that broke the band up, I think. Um, but. I mean, I just love all the songs on here. I Was Made For Loving You, Magic Touch. Uh, but probably one of my favorite songs, especially back then, which was kind of inappropriate for such a young kid, was Charisma. Is it my personality or just my sexuality? Also, I didn't know until much, 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 much later that 2,000 Man is a Rolling Stones cover. I didn't know. I know now. I like the Kiss version better. Killers, a very strange album. It's got a lot of, of the older songs, but it's also got a couple of new songs. I'm a Legend Tonight is a song I always really liked, and Nowhere to Run, that's also another great song. But yeah, and I think this was the first album with Eric Carr on it. Creatures of the Night the original cover. They later re-released this with them without their makeup on, but this is the original one. This was highly coveted back in my day because it was hard to find. Um, and I've managed to hold on to it all these years. My most treasured album almost. The Glow Eyes. Yes, The Glow. Creature of the Night was a pretty cool song. Um, War Machine is probably my favorite off of it. Analyze. This is the one album with Mar their new guitarist, Mark St. John. And it had Heavens on Fire. Whoa. Thrills in the Night, that was a good song. Uh, I think that's it. So not their best work, but okay. Asylum. Uh, I always liked this album because it had a couple of really good songs on it. King of the Mountain um, was all right. Any way you slice it, it was, it was all right. That was okay. Now, Who Wants to Be Lonely? That's a track. And then there's another one, uh, Tears Are Falling. That was also a great song. So yeah, it also had uh, All Night. 
I really liked back in the day, but I listen to it now and I'm like, mm, it's kind of cheesy. <laughs> Crazy Night. Um, yeah, Eric and I loved this album a lot at the time. And of course it had Crazy Nights, which was a song we loved back then and made a music video for. Crazy, 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 crazy then we get into the Def Leppard. Yeah, high and dry. You know, oddly enough, my love for Def Leppard kind of came and went and came back again. I wasn't really that familiar with this album. I was more familiar with Pyromania because even before I was all into metal, heavy metal or hard rock or whatever you want to call it, Pyromania, the song um, Photograph was all over MTV. And even before I was like super into all this stuff, I always really liked that song in the music video. So um, I liked Def Leppard when this, um, this came out. And then, after getting into a whole bunch of different stuff, Hysteria came out, and I thought it was really cheesy. And all the girls liked it, which made me not like it. But uh, now, I've come back around. It's a good album. Here, this is one of my favorites. Daryl has this too. It's the Helter Skelter picture. Is that not gorgeous? Helter Skelter picture disc. What happened to the rest of my Motley Crue albums? Well, in high school, I let my girlfriend's little sister borrow them, and her friends stole them. No good deed goes unpunished. Master of Puppets. Largely regarded as probably their best album, I was always a little more partial to Ride the Lightning because it had uh, my favorite song, Creeping Death. Uh, but this uh, album, of course, opens up with Battery, which Eric and I made a music video for when we were kids. The one other Metallica album I have is this one right here, which you might recognize from Metalhead Teens Go to a Record Shop at the end when we're at Larry's house. This used to be Larry's, and I think I even say in the video that one day it will be mine. Metallica. It's plenty of that. Here, this is Daryl's album to be. Yeah, hold it up. One day. Yes. Sure enough, I think he may have given it to me for a Christmas present or a birthday present or something like that. I, I, I don't remember. I think it's like a collection of like, demos and um, uh, various recordings from sessions from the early years. Um, I haven't listened to this in eh, probably 30 years, so I don't remember what's all on it. And it's not listed. Maybe one day I'll drop the needle on this. Maybe we'll listen to it together. How about that? Yeah, all right, cool. Striper, yeah. I listened to Striper too. Uh, to Hell with the Devil. Um, I think this is the only album I ever knew of theirs, um, but uh, I remember enjoying it thoroughly. Um, you know, they had, they had a look, the whole uh, bumblebee thing going. I hear they're still good, so um, maybe I'll look them up and give them a shot. Pretty Boy Floyd. Does anyone remember them? I can tell you why I bought this album. Because the last song on the first side was called Toast of the Town. It was originally recorded by Motley Crue, it was written by them, uh, and it was on their original release of Too Fast for Love, the Leather Records version, and uh, which you couldn't find back when I was a kid. And uh, I wanted to hear what that song sounded like, and the only way you could was to listen to the cover. So, bought this. Don't really remember the band or the rest of their songs, but yeah, Pretty Boy Floyd. Well, there you have it. Um, those are the records that survived from when I was a kid. I have gone through 
various stages of still collecting records. Um, and a lot of the other records that I own are of different styles of music as I, and my taste diverse. But um, yeah, still rocking some of those old classics. All right. Thanks. See ya.